What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another Super Bowl Squares promo that's given away two promo spots with this Jaspi 17 box hockey mixer, random team with a case of hip parade. So again, guys, 31 total spots. Everybody gets a random team in the NHL, all card ship. We have a 10 box case of hip parade limited edition, two boxes of 2021 SPX hockey, three boxes of 2021 synergy hockey, one box of 2021 OPG platinum, and one box of 1920 OPG platinum. So there you go, guys. Here are the customers that bought in straight up. Um, Austin down to Nicholas. And then Robert Runkle from Allure Pack number 8 down to Craig. Allure Pack number 9 won those for a fraction of the price. So <clears throat> let's go, guys. Good luck. Let's roll the dice. And wow, just snake eyes. Two times. Let's randomize the customer names and teams two times. One and two. Brian Croft, Donna Howard. Couple of days. Did it run like a marathon? Yeah. <laughs> two times. All right, two times here. One and two. Two times. Anaheim Ducks down to the Detroit Red Wings. All right, two times, two times. So, let's see uh, how the randomizer went for you guys. Brian Croft, you have the Ducks. Robert Runko with the Ottawa Senators. Craig with the Devils. Barn with the Sabres. Brian Croft with the Panthers. Guy with the Predators. Jesse with the uh, Jets. Brian Croft with the Rangers and Wild. Martin with the Blackhawks. Jonah with the Blues. Brian Croft with the Flames. Capitals. Brett with the Flyers. Brian Croft with the Yotes. Nicholas with the Oilers. Ryan Preston with the Leafs. Martin with the Hurricanes. Kevin with the Blue Jackets. Austin with the Penguins. Martin with the Bruins. Brian Croft with the Dallas Stars. Jesse with the Avalanche. Brian Croft with the Sharks, as well as the Knights. Martin with the Canadians. Curtis with the Kings. Ryan Preston with the Islanders. Bennett with the Islanders. Cassie with the Nucks. And Howard with the Detroit Red Wings. All right, well, I'm going to pause the video, see if there's any trades. And when we come back, let's see uh, if we got any trades or not. All right, guys, welcome back. No trades, no trades. Not even a single trade offer. Here we go, guys. And my video got stuck. You know, I don't know if you would have wanted really the Calgary Flames, Curtis. I don't know about that. All right, cool. Let's do this. Let's go with some synergy first.
Same, Curtis. I think a lot of people didn't expect my Kings to be that good. Although I did. I expect them to be a playoff team this year. They got a young, young, good team with a couple oldies like Kopitar and Brown. But Kopitar still always took, uh, always, uh, still produces. Underrated as always. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got Carey Price, Sebastian Ajo to 749, Pavel, which is a rookie, Jake Evans, that's a rookie to 749, Alexander Yellison. We got Nathan McKinnon to 449, 899 Nicholas Baldwin, Guy, Elias Pedersen to 749. Ovi, Timothy Lindgren. We got a rookie autograph of Adam Bofquist. Or not rookie autograph, I should say. Out of 49 for the Hawks. Uh, Chicago Hawks. Martin with that one. Ovi to 7.99. Brad Marchant. Drew Doughty playing his thousandth game a couple days ago. Monaghan. Cal McCarr to 7.49. To 8.99. Patrice Bergeron. Matisse. R.I.P. Leon Dreisaitl and John Tavares. So Synergy doesn't have guaranteed autographs that I remember of, so that was actually a pretty good box with an auto. one all right let's go with the next energy box we have three of these guys then we'll go to some opichi platinum and then we'll end off with um we'll end off with spx For now, Curtis. I don't think it'll last though. Zgrus is pretty good though, but I have to hate him because he's a duck. But he's an American, so if I remember correctly, right? Trevor Zgrus is an American. So I don't hop up the American boys. Yeah, the Kings have some games in hand on top of the all the divisions of the Pacific. I think the Kings are like have three games in hand on a lot of teams. Yeah, Kings have two games in hand on Anaheim, but they're only three points away from Anaheim. I mean, everybody at the top, yeah, Vegas, Anaheim, LA Kings are only separated by three points. Then you guys, yeah, you guys have played forty games, so you guys have like seven games over Anaheim. Um, Edmonton's only played thirty nine as well. Kings were supposed to make a trip to Canada during the winter, or during, uh, sorry, during Christmas time, but it all got canceled. But everything I think will be made up like by next week, or two weeks from now, whenever the Olympics start. Connor McDavid, Michael DiPietro, Eric Stahl, Patterson, Ty Andrea to 749, Tyler Benson, like a PMG right there. Exceptional Young Guns to 749. Tibu Teravinen, McLeod, Vitali, Kraftsoff, Mikey Anderson, and what is this? That is a Mystery Rookie Redemption Red Rookie Short Print Player to be Determined. We'll have to uh, look that up, see if they have a new... They've already announced who that is. If not, that'll be randomized to everybody. Steve Eiserman. Uh 
Uh, Jack, I go to four, uh, 49. Yes, it is, Curtis. It's okay. Canada got lucky that they didn't have to face U.S. this year at full strength. U.S. actually looking pretty good. U.S. got some talent. And all those Canadian fans that love Toronto Maple Leafs are going to be like... We're probably going to be hating Matthews in February, but not anymore. So I'll look that up at the end, and uh, let's continue on. I don't know about that, Curtis. McDavid cannot carry any team because his team still continues to lose. <laughs> McDavid's always going to put up points, but it's proven McDavid won't be able to win on his own. I think a lot of people should have realized that already. He's always going to put up points. And he even has his Robin, Leon Dreisaitl, put up freaking all these points and they still lose. But anyway, uh, Mike, I was going to actually ask you, since you probably know a little bit more. Is it uh, is the Olympics this year gonna be played like the last Olympics where they'll allow like minor league players or players that are playing like in the KHL represent USA or is it just gonna be amateurs? Braden Point to seven forty nine. Nicholas Lidstrom. Matthew Barzell. Uh, for the Canadians. Tisov, Lawrence, Carlson. Ingram. Ooh, that's a nice little one. Burden to 99. The Tech. Jack Eichel. Rodney McLeod. Nico Heischer. Wow, that's actually autographed. Gotcha. So like if some of these uh, eighteen year olds world like were playing in the World Juniors and not in the NHL or AHL or ECHL, they'd be able to represent basically. So like if like you know let's say Quinn Byfield or something like that was never playing in the minors or in the NHL now, like if he would have stuck to like World Juniors or something like that, then he could have been there. Uh, Martin. Gotcha. That makes sense. Alright, and that uh, Nico Heischer autograph is going to Craig. Alright, so this is 1920 Opeachy Platinum. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, so a lot of these teams are from a lot of these players are in college. It looks like, yeah. Minnesota, Cloud State, Yale. Oh, well, actually, some of these guys are actually playing in the NA in the AHL, like this Aaron Ness. 
he's actually playing for Providence of Bruins. Uh, Nick Shore, which actually I've heard of Nick Shore before. I think he was an LA Kings pick, like not too long ago, actually. Nick Shore. I think he's like my age. Yeah, he was, yeah. Drafted in the third round by the LA Kings in 2011. So he's playing, actually, for U.S. hockey. And he's actually in the KHL right now. Yeah. He's probably like the older veteran though now. He's like 28, 29. Is uh, is Kovalchuk on the Russian team? Are we? Are they Are we still considered a call in Russia, or are they still banned and they're called like athletes from whatever they were called last time? expect that to be there. Uh, that is a no numbering Opichi Platinum rookie of Victor Olofsson. So I believe uh, that should be going to the Buffalo Sabres. Barrett Hayton. Brady Shea. Nick Suzuki. That's a rainbow rookie. Ben Bishop. That's a red prism. 189. Connor Timmons, Sunset, Ryan Ellis. Yeah, did he do well for you, Sean? Did he do well uh, for the uh, Minnesota Wild that game? I didn't even. I woke up like at eleven today. I didn't even realize uh, there was early hockey games today. Kings were playing early in Philly. In Philly. They lost an OT. Landeskog. Nico Sturm. Adam Bofquist. Marquee rookies. Uh, Violet Pixels to three ninety nine. Pablo Caco. Tyler Bertuzzi. Dang. Montreal, man, that's so, such a sad team, right? Like, they were in the Stanley Cup Finals last year, and now they're like one of the worst teams in the league, if not the worst. Sucks. Times the Kings have played uh, Minnesota this year have been really, really good games. I feel like the last two, three years, 
Minnesota has always pretty much dominated the Kings, but at least this year I feel like it's been a pretty good uh, match. Pretty good uh, games so far. Dang. All right, looks like Flaws Collegiate is moving. I mean, Coyotes might not even have an arena. <laughs> but I, I did hear the 5,000 seat venue that they're going to share with, like, the call co university or something crazy like that. They're like, that's embarrassing, dude. Like, you're a professional hockey team, man. Ugh. Just please just get out of Arizona already. It's going to be like that. You might as well just get out. But I guess they're I guess they just need time for them to build a new arena, right? Atlanta Thrashers, Curtis. I had jerseys. Uh, Scotty Lightenin. My brother had a Kovalchuk jersey. Atlanta Thrashers did have a lot more support, and yet they moved. Sebastian Ajo. Miro Heishkinen. Little OPG Premier Retro. Max Pacioretty. Little seismic gold to 50. Hunter Brown. And we have Cole Sherwood for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Going to Kevin. Victor Soderstrom. Timothy Lindgren. King Gopi. Natali. And a Taylor Hall. That is a uh, Arctic Freeze, I believe. Yeah, it's a 99. Nice. That's where they should be playing. Mike. <laughs> We got a Aquamarine Mark Stone. Nice, Gabe Velarde, little sunset. And Ryan O'Reilly sunset.
<laughs> Murica. All right, let's go with SPX. This is your like two to three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. And we have a Andre Vasileski autograph. There you go. Yeah, it is, Curtis. I mean, it's just like... No offense to any of the other other Olympic sports in, like, Winter Olympics, but... You know, Winter Olympics is mainly hockey, right? People love that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be watching, like, you know, the curling and all the other stuff, but... It just sucks that, you know, NHL players won't be there. And we have a Oli. Illustrious Rookie, Inc. To 299. Vancouver Canucks. That is going to Cassie. Shadow box of Savechnikov for the Hurricanes. Carolina Hurricanes. That is Martin. Whoa, that was Sidney Crosby patch autograph for a second. Out of 249, Sid the Kid, Obsidian, Jersey. Uh, Austin Caruso with that one. And we have Dustin Brown for the LA Kings. Uh, Curtis, there you go. On the board. With at least an auto. We have Cal McCarr. To 299. For the Colorado Avalanche. Going to Jesse. Bowen Byron, Shadow Box, another one for the Colorado Avalanche. And last one here, should be an autograph, or not. Mikey Anderson, SPX rookie jersey for the LA Kings. All right, guys, so there you go. That was uh, SPX right there. Let's move this to the side over here now. Let's go with the 10 box case. As long as it's not dowdy, you think alike. Cause if you had the flames, I'd be happy if it. As long as it wasn't uh, Kachuk, cause I hate that guy. All 
All righty. 88 out of 100. Good luck. Let's see what we got. First one is Flashback Fabrics and Autographs Ray Bork. That is from 0708 SPX Hockey. Going to the Boston Bruins. Nice, Sean. That's awesome. I mean, you can always just have like a Minnesota Wild jersey. Have Dowdy on the back for you. I don't want him on America, Curtis. Canada could have him. Give us Dowdy. And we have a Dylan Cozens from Trilogy. That is a level two autograph to 199. Buffalo Sabres, that is going to Martin. Box one of a hundred. We have a Jonathan Taves, or should I say Toes, <laughs> from Trilogy. This is the old school Trilogy. Dude, 1617. That's uh, like Matthew's rookie year. Five out of 40. Uh, Chicago Black House going to Martin. All right, 43 out of 100. We have Alexander Barkov, one of the most underrated players. In the NHL. And it's a Panini Prime Rookie Signature as well. That is 86 out of 99. And uh, that is going to go to the Florida Panthers and Brian Crop. Alexander Barkov always reminded me of Kopitar. Except that dude has like crazy shootout skills. That dude is wild. Fifty six out of a hundred. And wow, is, I think this legit was the uh, this was the uh, limited hip parade chaser. It's literally the photo on the um, mixer photo. Kale McCarr. That is from Ultimate Collection Hockey at a 25. 1920. Ultimate Access. Who has a Colorado Avalanche? Jesse. There you go. Yep, this was literally the photo. This was the chaser. Did Nick know we had it? <laughs> it's crazy. All right. 56. 75 out of 100. We have Mike Madano, another one from Ultimate 1920 for the Dallas Stars. Dallas Stars, that is Brian Croft. And we have a Nicholas Lidstrom, three out of five Stanley Cup Letterman. That's awesome right there. SP game used. That is sweet. 2021 SP game used. And that's for the Detroit Red Wings and Howard. Very nice hit right there. And Martin Brodeur from Trilogy Hockey. That is 33 out of 50. 
New Jersey Devils going to Craig. Nice. This has been a really good limited hockey case, right? I feel like it's been pretty good. I feel like hip rate hockey has always been pretty good. I don't really screw you over so much sometimes. A lot of closer value to the box price. Whoa, this one has two cards. First one is Mark Shifley. I don't know if that was a typo. And this one has... Ugh. Matthew Kachuk at a 75. Uh, two cards. So one of them for the Winnipeg Jets, but it's Jesse. Calgary is Brian Croft. And last one, 68 out of 100. A dual autograph, Steven Stamkos and Derek Rossard. Wow, that's going to be a crazy randomizer because obviously this one is probably the bigger one. And uh, this is back from 2009-2010. Wow. 96 out of 100. So Tampa Bay is Ryan, uh, Ryan Presnell. And Columbus is Kevin. So that will have to be randomized at the end of the break, which is now. So one happy person, one sad person. And is I, is that a second year Stamkos or is that a rookie? I feel like he was 2008, 2000. I think he was rookie 2008 with Dowdy, wasn't he? But Stamkos one, Dowdy two, and uh, Gergensons three. All right, let me also check on this uh, upper deck um, synergy mystery card. And see if it's been announced. So the only one, oh. okay, so, wow, this is actually a pretty good card, actually. Um, so if we look under the checklist, guys, it says, we have an NHL synergy, synergy sorry, mystery rookie redemption, right? And it's a red rookie short print. Right? So I'm assuming it has to be this one here. But it looks like um, there's only three players on this checklist. Well, actually, sorry. Am I looking at the right one? This way. Yeah. Rookie Redemptions. Which is this one. Because we don't have an autograph. It doesn't say autograph. It just says Rookie Red. So I'm just going to have to randomize it between these players then. Because that's all there is. Yeah, because ours is Red Rookie Redemption Mystery. This one would be a Rookie Redemption Autograph, but we don't have that. We have this one here. So, um, Red Parallels aren't signed, so there you go. So we're going to randomize it between these three players here, because that's all we have. Maybe back in the day they didn't have it, but it looks like they do now. They let you know it's only three cards. So it's either going to be Romanov, Kozins, or Kaprizov that win this one. So let's do that randomizer as well. So we're going to have three separate randomizers, basically. So let's get a new dice roller. Let's get a new list. A second list. And the third list. So the first one's going to be this Rookie Redemption. Oh, yeah, no, this one doesn't have that. This one literally just says 2021 Synergy Mystery Rookie Redemption, Red Rookie Short Print, Player Name to be Determined. So, this one's a little different. So, we have that. Then we're going to have the randomizer between the Lightning 
and blue jackets. And then of course, this is a promo break and we'll have the third one right there. So we're using the same dice roller for the uh, Rookie Mystery Redemption, the Lightning Blue Jackets dual autograph, and the promo. All right. Here we go. Roll it. We got ourselves a two and a four, six times. Good luck. Two and a four. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom. Two and a four, six times. Romanov winning that randomizer. So that's going to go to the Montreal Canadiens and Martin. Perfect. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty nice, Sean. All right, six times here. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Wow, stays with the Blue Jackets. Damn. Blue Jackets going to get that one. What an upset right there. Blue Jackets. Derek Broussard, haha, ha, has the last laugh over Stamkos. <laughs> there you go. Um, Blue Jackets, that's Kevin. Got that from the lore pack. Alrighty, and the last randomizers for two Super Bowl score spots. Top two get in after six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so sad times from Brian Croft down to Brian Croft, but. Congratulations to Kevin and Ryan Preston. Wow. So, Ryan, look at that. You got a Super Bowl square spot instead of winning that randomizer. And, Kevin, what a break for you. The randomizer randomized you that dual autograph, and you got a spot in the uh, promo as well. So, let's uh, add you guys' names here. And we'll call this... Uh... 17 box NHL mixer RT So there you go guys appreciate it everybody jazbeescasebreaks.com pretty nice mixer right here guys appreciate it